Jared Robinson post, creating memories and a legacy of fishing with my boys, just as my dad did with me. There's nothing any better than me and my six and four year old boys on the lake or pier. And you know, you're exactly right, Jared. Uh, I lost my dad uh, almost 25 years ago and I still think about those fishing trips with him, uh, my two uncles and my granddad. And of course I started carrying my kids fishing before they were old enough to walk and uh, my grandsons. And, and now I've actually got great grandsons that's just about the same age as your boys and uh, they love to fish with granddad. Ronald Miller writes, spending time with my dad. When my wife and I had our first child, I knew he would get hooked. Right now, the best thing about fishing is spending time with my son and my dad. Seeing my son catch his first smallmouth bass on a buzz bait. That explosion took his bait and it was 16 inches long. That's a memory you'll never forget, Ronald. I can remember back when my daughter Sherry caught a seven pound bass on a white spinner bait as we were filming a show. This is something like 35 years ago. A memory I'll cherish forever, and you will too. Jamie Creel, Jamie Creel. What a day for a fisherman, Jamie Creel. Being disabled now, there's not a lot I can do that keeps me up with the rest of the game. When the boat pulls away from the dock, the field is even. I'm like everyone else again, I'm alive again. All my worries, my problems, even my pain is not as bad as it seems. I get to enjoy, relax, I enjoy life again, it keeps me sane. I can't afford to go much anymore, but hey, it's worth all the trouble, pain, and money. So, I may need that extra kidney in the future, but for right now, it's worth it. Jamie, you're exactly right. Every moment you spend on the water is precious. You know, I've had the great honor and pleasure of taking a lot of Make-A-Wish kids, St. Jude's kids, One Wish kids, uh, Kids We Care, all kinds of, of kids that, that fought through lots of illnesses, and these are kids, not adults, but kids and every moment that they spend on the water is precious. And some of those kids have got well, thankfully, and a lot of them are not with us anymore. So every moment you spend out fishing, very, very important. Danny McGee says, it seems like only yesterday, Jimmy, that you teach your kids how to put a worm or a glob of power bait on a hook and you fling it into the water. My son now has been a pro fly fisherman for the last several years, and now I'm the one doing the homework. What I love most, releasing a big, gorgeous rainbow trout that he's put me on. Truly, it doesn't get any better than that. Thanks, Ben. Love, Dad. You know, Danny, that is exactly right. One of the great things about the outdoors is we're passing on a legacy of the outdoors knowledge and skills that we've acquired and learned from our dads, our granddads, our uncles, our aunts, our moms. We're passing that on to our kids and to our, to our sons, to our daughters, to our grandkids and our granddaughters and then they have an opportunity to pass that on. And one of the things about it, if you'll take those kids fishing when they're young, when you get too old to take yourself, by golly, they owe you some fishing trips. Uh, bass wishes from Pete St. Angie, and I probably didn't say that correctly, but hey, anywhere from north of Oklahoma doesn't speak good anyway. Uh, Pete says, uh, I like to watch how fishermen learn their craft. 13 years ago at a bass fishing university, which by the way, they are starting the bass fishing universities back up again. I actually spoke at one in the college uh, a couple weeks ago. I watched Jimmy pitch a bubblegum colored spinnerbait in a guy's coffee cup from 10 or 15 feet away. What a great weekend. Zell Rowland, Wu Days were there also. That was a year that Wu won the classic. And if I remember right, he won that classic in Chicago. We had lunch together and we all agreed that Ricky Clun was the best at his craft. I'd put Ricky Clun number two personally, Pete, and Roland Martin number one. And I tell you what, if old Kevin keeps doing the way, the way he's going, someday we might just have to put Kevin Van Dam number one. But you're exactly right. Learning the game is, 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 is a big part of the fun. There's absolutely no doubt about it. I've been bass fishing ever since I, well, I can't remember the first bass I caught, probably a year and a half or two years old. So, so far, pretty much all of my life. And I sure hope I've got a lot of bass fishing left in me. But I tell you one thing, I'm still learning every single day. And as a matter of fact, we're getting ready to go on the water here in a few minutes, and I bet I learned something today. Hang in there, Pete. You never know it all.